Hi everyone. I just thought I'd do a little coaching lesson with you. This is for the grown-ups, for the educators, for the parents. A little chat about Lycra. And I like to unpack um, what I do and why I do it. So I thought what I would do is a series of little lessons for you. So this one's about Lycra resistance play. Um, it's the best fabric for working with early years and special needs children for many reasons because it's a two-way stretch and you can activate children's muscles. They can activate them themselves. So it's on their terms and they can stimulate those muscles in their bodies as far as they need to, which is fantastic. Um, I'll firstly go into... Um, well, I'll look at all the different colours and stuff. I tend to use um, really nice pastel sort of colours, or bright, but not too bright. Um, you don't want to overstimulate children with red or fluorescent yellow. or um, if, if it's too bright, it can be arresting for them. So blue is fantastic for babies up to two-year-olds um, and children that need gentleness. Use pink. Uh, purple's really nice. Green is a controversial colour. I don't actually like the, the effects of green on children. Um, it's, a, it's a handy sort of colour, but it's quite dark. When you lift it up over your head, it can make it too dark. Whereas when you put the blue over their heads, it's still quite sweet. It's quite a nice colour. The reason why we use Lycra in every single lesson is for the whole plethora of reasons. Um, resistance play, obviously, peer group learning. So your, your children are learning from each other and you get all that scaffolding that happens. The two-year-old's learning from the five-year-old. The five-year-old gets to inspire the, the one-year-old, the, the four-year-old learns. And, and that's how our family daycares tend to be set up with varying ages of children so it's perfect um, and also for um, different levels of achievement so you've got all four-year-olds but they're at different levels of, of um, understanding so you can teach children orally visually and kinesthetically with lycra so for example when I'm doing um, a song like here we go with the big blue sea here we go here we go we're wriggling it around here we go with the big blue sea and get ready to stop so they're learning stop which is really important to embed stop into children in a musical manner then you can apply that in an emergency situation when you want a child to stop before they go to the road and stop so that's you can use and stop if you've embedded it through a song so this is using music and movement together. The two together grow neural pathways in our brains. Music goes across the corpus callosum into the whole brain. The corpus callosum is like the bridge between the left and the right side of the brain. And using Lycra can really help you to visually, orally and kinesthetically stimulate children. So someone might be a visual learner another might be an auditory learner, and someone else is a physical learner. One needs to jump up and down. So let's teach them all. So, for example, when I'm doing this, the C goes up, ooh, ooh, put out your head. And so they're seeing it go up, ooh, ooh, C comes down, ooh. So the sound's going, they're hearing it, they're seeing it, and they're actually moving something. So you're using all three avenues of teaching when you use it. Also what I love about the Lycra is that you can help children with separation anxiety. So when we go underneath and we go rain rain go away come again another day this is a, along the lines of peekaboo. So remember when you when you hide behind something and you go boo uh, boo and it never gets old. What we're doing there is we're helping children with separation anxiety. So to take it a step further, use the Lycra and they will hide underneath. Now, sometimes the babies just can't handle it, but they get used to it and it helps them enormously with that. Um, 
sensory play if you if you're using it and you swish it around their necks and over their arms when I do the um, the swishing at the end the front and the back of the hand what I'm doing there is a lazy eight now I've always wanted to be able to do lazy eights with early years flat out trying to do it with teenagers then I realized aha I can do it with lycra because it's a sensory thing so you say to them do the front and the back of your hand and look at that we're doing a lazy eight lazy eights oh my goodness here's what it says about lazy eights they are just absolutely fantastic um, lazy eights turn on the activity and activates the eyes while they're crossing the midline can be used to improve ocular motor function and it assists with reading and crossing the midline improves integration between the two hemispheres of the brain which we know the repeated action of the lazy eight is also very calming it can be used in several different formats using the eyes or drawing the figure of eight in the appropriate orientation so on the side there and in motion it also is, um, is fantastic for helping a child um, to walk well to skip and run um, you can use that shape that they can walk and skip and run around that shape of, a, of an eight um, it's also good you can draw it on the ground draw an eight on the ground with a bit of chalk as a visual cue um, and it's loads of fun if you do it with music so it steps into another sort of realm when you do it musically lycra oh my goodness lycra is fantastic I've got a really nice picture of a lady that they've set up a little um, sort of bed set up so it's got lycra over the top of it and then they've made a little dippy bit so the kids can have like a almost like a hammock you can use lycra for a swing you can sit it down so the kids can hop in like a little kangaroo pouch beautiful little sensory um, uh, moment for special needs children but we're all a bit special needs I wouldn't mind that myself so hopefully I have inspired you with the lycra um, I've got loads of songs online you can go and have a look at littlefee.com uh, there's a early years playlist there just click on that and start going through them for free you're most welcome to have a look at all the songs um, I love inspiring educators and um, I do a daily zoom lesson um, just get in touch I'll leave the links below um, and so you can get in touch if you want to join in um, please do we we have the greatest fun um, 10 30 every day Eastern Standard Time Australian Eastern Standard Time and um, yeah it's a way to inspire you to be even greater than you already are so enjoy enjoy your children enjoy the lycra and hopefully I've inspired you use all your old songs um, for for your lycra when you're using lycra um, it's very good for strengthening the core strength of children oh, just getting all my bits of paper off the ground here making sure I don't forget um, everything that I wanted to say yeah it's got a soothing quality it's beautiful stuff so I reinvent old songs like um, here is the sea, the wavy sea. Here is a boat, and here is me. The fishes are swimming. So they're getting a sensory reward. Down below, wiggle their tails, and away they go. Um, and when they stretch it, stretch it back, way back, they're engaging their core. When they kick their feet, they're engaging their diaphragm and exercising that part of their body. And that's the muscles that you need for breath, for singing, for expression. So hopefully, yes, as I said, I hope I, I've inspired you. Um, and come and join us on the Zoom lessons if you haven't already. Thanks a lot. Bye. Oh, I'll do a song for you. I'll see you next time. Thanks. See ya.